On this episode, I'm going to be showing you the top five reasons why you shouldn't speed wire, backstab, or use these push in terminals on your switch or receptacle. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about speed wiring, also known as backstabbing, push in terminals. There's a lot of names that go with this term and they are commonly used on switches and receptacles, outlets, whatever you want to call it. And they are located at the back, mostly on residential grade receptacles and switches. Now, if we look into the commercial grade versions, you can see that they are not the same. These are back wires and we're going to go into that later on. But first, let's focus on the residential push in terminals before we even dive into the top five reasons why you shouldn't speed wire backstab or use these push in terminals. I want to explain to you why they even have this to begin with. First off, there's nothing in the NEC code that states that you can't do this. You can only use 14 gauge wire like you see here, but you cannot use a 12 gauge wire. Now, why do even people still use the speed wiring method? Well, it goes by the name speed wire because it's so speedy and so fast to do. All you gotta do is strip your wire and you just insert it through this terminals back here, push it in and you should be good to go. So let me know in the comment section down below, why do manufacturers still produce these cheap outlets and switches with this type of me mechanism on the back? I wanna know your opinion, leave it in the comment section down below. Reason number one why you shouldn't backstab, back wire, or use these push in terminals is because there are less contact points when you do this method. If you push this into the push in terminal, there I will show you later on why there's little bit of contact from the terminal with the wire. If you look into the switches, I opened one up and we'll see how how um, the contact points occur. So let's push this in on this speed wire terminal. Let's push that in. And if you open it up, you can see that the contact points are only at the front of the wire and the back of the wire. Let's get into the residential grade type receptacles. Don't be confused, these are not push-ins. This is called back wire, and it even states on the back of one of these, back wire and side wire. If you're gonna plan to do a side wire, you can use this gauge to see how much you need. Obviously, this is a little bigger, so I might have to cut a little bit for that. And if you use the back wire method, there's a gauge for it. So this is way too long. This is how much you're gonna be taking out when you're gonna do a back wire. All right. Now back wiring is fairly easy to do. If you put it right through here, clamp it down. Back wire has enough clamping force. Notice how tight you can get this to. You can tighten as hard as you can with your, um, I'm using my insulated screwdriver. This is actually really cool. You can use, uh, it's a switch. You can use a Phillips and a flat head. Again, all the tools that I use in this video, I'll leave it in the description down below. You can tighten it as much as you can and it has a lot of clamping force onto it. Notice how the contact points the terminals are squeezed and sandwiched between the terminal plate right here and the back area as well. So you have two points of contact almost surrounded and wrapped around this wire. You can probably say it's 80 to 90% in contact right here all around the wire itself. So compare it to the amount of clamping force that you have here in your opinion, leave it in a comment section down below. Will you choose the 80 to 90% coverage right there of the wire? Or are you gonna depend on just this right here, this front and back, and probably a little bit on the back right there connection? The commercial grade ones are the better choice because it has a lot more contact and it has uh, it wraps around and hugs the wire better. Why not spend a little extra and get the residential grade and have that peace of mind that you have a nice contact point that will not come loose in the future. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and let's move into reason number two. So reason number two why you shouldn't backstab speed wire or use the push in terminals in the back of these things is because it gets loose over time. And that's because the brass inside this thing heats up and once it heats up it expands, contracts, con expands and contracts and 
over time, you know how many times you use this switch? You probably use this thousands of times, thousands of clicks throughout its lifetime. And over that time, the internals of this will def definitely heat up a little bit because if we open this up right here, you can see that this area does heat up. And to prove that, you can see that there's a little bit of carbon that's developing right there, a little bit of wear and tear from the heat, the expansion and contraction, and there is a little bit of residue on right there. Now over time, that will expand and contract, and eventually this will get loose. So if we push that in there, notice how loose that gets. You can pretty much just wiggle this in and out, and that's how easily this thing will fail and eventually will fall out. And let me explain to you, even in the brand new one, right here if you insert it right there i mean i'm gonna give it a little bit of tug right there push turn 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 and it actually comes out easily like that same goes here just a few twists and it comes out reason number three is because there is a possibility that you might strip the wire too too long right here and not use the gauge wire at the back now when that happens when you are in a hurry or someone's doing your job and they push this in they're gonna end up having this exposed wire at the back right there now some people might catch it some people who are in a hurry doing the speedy thing will not catch this and now you have an exposed wire that can possibly come in contact with another type of wire and, and you know and cause a spark and cause um, an arc or there are people that like to use the black electrical tape around here obviously if that's exposed you can't cover that with black electrical tape so that poses as a hazard itself let's take this out and let's see if we, once we ins once we insert it to the commercial grade if we will go all the way through notice how that connection you can adjust reason number four why speed wiring is not a good idea now let's look at this receptacle right here you see anything kind of weird about this receptacle I'll give you a moment to look at it. If you look right here, there's an actual wire that is sticking out right there. Now I've come to few outlets or receptacles that I see this and it becomes a problem. Let me actually put a, an example for you friends. I actually went in the house and I, I took out one of these things and I saw one of these sticking out right there. The, probably the person who was installing it was trying to get that wire out really really bad right there and they didn't know that you can use those push-ins right there and they just ripped it they just did the j-hook and used the screw terminal so that's a bad idea because now you have an exposed wire that's might come in contact possibly come in contact with different types of wires and other connections that can create a spark now, if you, you use just the J-hook and you make a mistake and you don't want to do that, you can always unscrew these terminals or you can just, the same way with these, you know, the back wire, you can unscrew those and again, adjust it the way you, you want it. Let me know in the comment section below what you think, but if you do this, I believe that you cannot use this once you pull that wire out because pretty much the connection inside this thing compromised, okay? Right when you pull that, right when you put that connection in, you pull it out, wears out the connection here. It's already a bad connection to begin with. And right when you pull it out, gets loose and it chips away some of the, the, the clamping force out of there and it just gets worse. So I don't know. Leave in the comment section down below what you think. Reason number five, the final one, why I don't recommend or I see that speed wiring is an issue is because here's an example. I come across this many, many times when I open up a J box and I take out the, the outlet or especially the switches. Switches are a common one for me for some reason. But when I open it up and I try to pull it out, there you have it. You have a wire that is just sticking out there. Whether it be neutral, whether it be hot, you name it, I've come across it and it is just really, really dangerous. That's because the speed wire method has failed. And sure, this can be this can be the same issue if you haven't tightened it on the 
on the screw terminal as well or if you had the back wire and you for and someone didn't tighten it enough this is a possibility that could happen but it's pretty much taking a chance when you're doing your speed wiring because you don't know how the manufacturer was was there a defect in there when you push this hard enough or if you were using your fingers to push in those to read to adjust those wires so this outlet can fit there is a possibility that you can actually push this out so friends in my honest opinion speed wiring backstabbing or these pushing terminals are it's just not a good idea there's so many things that could go wrong the same thing there are things that could go wrong with using the these screw terminals as well but not as much as this problem if you use the back stab make a j-hook and then just use that clamp it onto your screw in terminal this might cost a little bit more extra but why not invest on a high quality heavy duty receptacle outlet or switch to protect your investment over time which is your home and you can sleep better at night okay friends so thank you so much for tuning in i hope you found great value to this video if you did please drop a big thumbs up press the subscribe and notification bell and let me know in the comment section below if i missed anything or let me know which one do you still use do you do you plan to upgrading to commercial or are you going to plan to stick with the residential and continue um, speed wiring let me know in the comment section below let's share it with the community thank you so much friends for the love and support i'll see you friends on the next video